hi guys uh, welcome to my kitchen and my channel today we're going to be preparing fantastic pita which is made with around like quails and it's going to make with feta cheese nice rich feta cheese we're going to need two eggs for that make sure we have here two cups of lukewarm water we're going to need a cup of vegetable oil to mix with this so water mixture tablespoon of sugar tablespoon of salt and just a regular table salt and then we're gonna whisk this till it dissolves well to our water also we're gonna use one cup of vegetable oil this is gonna be our with flour. I have here 10 cups of flour, all-purpose flour. So here in the middle, we're going to create a well. So this is the easiest method that you could create a dough. Our water mixture, you constantly just spin in your wooden spoon slowly you combine flour and liquids and it starts to form to beautiful dough so this is traditionally made with a sheet what you do is once you lay all your layers you do not touch it the longer you have to roll it with a sheet because they're gonna be so light and so paper thin and turning them into a, a coil just constantly grabbing flour and this has to be knitted really really we're gonna eat this really tough dough it's gonna turn into an elastic this has to be rest for quite some time about 45 minutes on our oil ball once we create a ball. So we put all the water in here, all the remaining four cups of lukewarm water with one cup of vegetable oil. For this one, I'm using um, Wesson vegetable. You can use also Crisco. Crisco is good. Any lighter oils are better for this dish. For this recipe, using our hands. We need not to use our hands. And just mix the remaining flour by squeezing the dough. You combine all the flour in it and you don't need to put any more water. our dough it's not ready yet so we're gonna remove it off the bowl and our flour space here we're gonna turn it and work it until it becomes nice and elastic -y. just like that and 
just combine flour and work this till it becomes really smooth dough. by sprinkling some flour, removing my hands, so we don't want too much flour after this, but I'm just going to work this till it be no longer needs flour. Still sticking. So your dough doesn't stick any longer on your surface. So your dough is almost there. I want you to take a scraper and just scrape all the remaining crumbs. We want no crumbs. We want everything smooth. Just remove the dough. Make sure all the the surface is clean before you want all this out no crumbs smooth texture and just work it up it is no longer need to follow is it the longer you you work it down, the gluten starts to work. So once your dough is nice and soft and elasticy, this is what we want. We have four deep bowls, so we're gonna oil these about a tablespoon each. So we're gonna oil all four of them. And there's no more flour here. So you work your dough very easy. You're gonna divide these on a size of volleyball. So just with scraper, you eyeball them. So this is how it's gonna look like a little volleyball. So we're gonna take them and we're gonna work with them till they're nice and smooth. So you just, with the back of your hand, with the heel, and just work them. Our oil bowl here. Just gonna drop it and roll it in it. Take another one. Just like that. Did 
They're so elastic -y, so soft. Just drop it anywhere. Just drop this one like we did the first one and just roll it and saran wrap these so they don't form a crust and continue the rest. So we're gonna saran wrap these individual so they don't form a crust. We're gonna leave these to rest about 45 minutes to an hour. The longer you leave them, the better they stretch. To so leave them at room temperature, they are very soft. We need to surround around these. I'll put a plastic over it. Even though they're oiled, they will form a crust if you leave them uncovered. So now that they're covered, we need at least 45 minutes to an hour. While these are resting, we're gonna prepare our dairy mixture for it. While our dough rests, we're gonna be preparing dairy. So we're gonna need one eight ounce of uh, cream cheese, eight ounces of um, Kerrygold butter. I'm using this is a nice, rich quality. And this is um, all organic and some heavy whipping cream. So these are all three ingredients that we need. We're gonna melt, melt them into a, a low flame. We're melting our cream cheese and butter in a low temperature. The reason we're melting them in a low flame so we don't want our butter to burn. So we're just gonna let it slowly melt together. Then we'll add our heavy cream once these melt. Now that our butter and our cream cheese are melted, we're gonna add our heavy whipping cream, about a half a cup or so. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm preparing pita, which is Albanian traditional dish, and I'm gonna prepare them coiled, coiled form. Mix this well, nice and smooth. Good morning, my Our dough is resting. It's been 30 minutes. So we have here a block of feta, and all we do is crumble this with a fork. We don't want it too fine. We want it just crumbled. Gonna crack two eggs to this. We're just gonna put just mix this a little bit. Gives it a nice fluff. So the next step is once your dough is nice and soft. So you lay a one big plastic wrap here. You turn the dough. And just stretch it with your hands. And you let this rest for another 10 minutes or so. same oil that you had on the bowl you don't use anymore. Dough rested nice. This is what we want to stretch it gentle. We're gonna transfer it into a bigger space to stretch this. Here we transfer the dough into a table with a tablecloth here. We're gonna stretch this dough as large as the table size. Just by stretching it. Once you stretch this dough, it's gonna be paper thin. Just 
keep stretching from that because now the dough rested and will come out so large. Now that we stretched our dough, nice paper thin, and we're gonna spread our dairy. Just sprinkle our dairy that we need all over. Can't touch this by hand. No longer. Now spread your your cheese all around. So once the cheese is all around, what you do is you're gonna flip. You're gonna go around and just lift the sheet, lift the tablecloth. Just go like that. Make sure it's all even. And just keep rolling it. And it's all around. And this is going to make our pita coiled. Just go. Flipping it. It's paper thin. This coils in our greased pan. All you do is sprinkle it with some more dairy. So your pinwheel um, pita is done, and we're just gonna cut it in right on the center. Basically, you're going to make cuts across and just without baking it yet. We preheated our oven at 375, so this way our oven is really hot and these are very thin. They go very quick, so um, you just go cutting it like this before you bake it like a pizza but this is a traditionally made with pinwheel just like that you put it in the oven to bake and no time you will have a wonderful dish that it's made with feta cheese and a nice dairy filling and then you're gonna enjoy it and what is better than having this for your family for dinner and come into a nice hot pie and Happy International Women's Day to all the women out there, as mothers, sisters, daughters. Let's enjoy and good health. So this is how my coiled pita became nice and crispy. Let's find out what we made nice and hot layers of delicious just falls apart. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Happy International Women's Day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. Bye now.